the carbon is consisting of saturated compound means the carbon compounds are satisfied with all four single covalent bonds that is called as saturated all four single covalent bonds is there in a carbon atom it is called as a saturated if a carbon atom is having of double bond or triple bond between the carbon atom is called as unsaturated hydrocarbons so we are having of the classification of the carbon compounds the open chain compounds are further saturated unsaturated saturated compounds is also called as that is a main important root word is called as alk it is a suffix is in the suffix is in so that it is called as alkane so general formula is cn h2n plus 2 that's why we are giving up so many number of examples methane ethane propane butane like that unsaturated hydrocarbons if a carbon atom is consisting of the double bond is called as alk e in e in alkene is the suffix so you are using of the names of that one minimum number of carbon atoms are two that is ethene ethene also called as why because ethene is iupac name the general name means common name is ethylene so don't forget about ethylene means it is a y is there so it is not a consisting of double bond it is a general name common name you are pronouncing ethylene means ethene only iupac name so propyne that is a propene butene like that if the carbon atom is consisting of a triple bond is called as a i root word is a alk so alkyne alkyne formula is cn h2n minus 2 that is general formula you have to remember the general formula alkene general formula is cn h2n only so it, uh, alkyne is a cn h2n minus 2 only so it is nothing but alkyne so here also the starting member is two carbon atoms are there because between the carbon and carbon triple bond is present without having of the two carbons you can't fix the triple bond so one carbon is main means only one single bond is there so it is a ethyne ethyne is a iupac name but common name is ethyne common name is acetylene so remember that one acetylene is nothing but ethyne ethene common name is ethylene so ethene is a double bond ethene is a double bond but its common name is ethylene here ethyne common name is acetylene please remember these two words because of the some of the carbon words are there which because of the usage purpose so you are classified then the cyclic compounds those cyclic compounds are again classified into you are having of homocyclic compounds heterocyclic compounds homo means only carbon and hydrogen is there hetero means other than the carbon and hydrogen there are some other elements are there those are called as hetero so homocyclic compounds further divided into alicyclic compounds aromatic compound alicyclic means only single saturated bonds are present in a cyclic form so cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopentane cyclohexane whatever you want take that is called as alicyclic compounds so alicyclic compounds are nothing but the saturated hydrocarbon up to this that means alkanes alkenes and cyclic compounds that means alicyclic compounds cycloalkanes we are having of the portion of the first stem next come to the that is aromatic means that is the alternative single and double bond is there those are called as aromatic hydrocarbons those aromatic hydrocarbon how it is called as yesterday last i will explain that i think some of the students may be confusing of aromatic <coughs> nothing to worry about aromatic nothing but you can by means of the ockels rule you can classify if the ockel rule is a 4n plus 2 pi electron system is there any compound is obeying the 4n plus 2 pi electron system that compound is aromatic hydrocarbon so examples best be, remember the example aromatic hydrocarbons are benzene naphthalene anthracene phenanthracene these are all are aromatic hydrocarbon so you are having of the aromatic next you are going to go into the heterocyclic compounds already i told that this is a fifth or fourth sem fourth uh -huh. fifth, you are getting of the heterocyclic compounds those are called as you are having of the hetero means other than the carbon and hydrogen atom that is a nitrogen oxygen like that we are having of cyclic compounds pyrrole furan leofene pyridine these are the compounds we are discussed in that one okay this is about the sd class now today you are going to the classification again one more classification why because carbon atom is having of the single covalent bonds are there on the basis of the functional group how the organic compounds are classified the functional group is important why because after the root word you are having of the suffixes are there the suffix is primary suffix is called as a 
whether it is saturated or unsaturated. But the secondary suffix, what is A with the secondary suffix means whether it is having of alcohol group. Suppose I am writing the C2H5OH. C2H5OH means here in the ethane, one hydrogen is replaced. So you are having of this is called as a ethane, C2H6. Why I am telling it is a CN H2N plus 2 formula. C2H6 has ethane. If I am removing the one hydrogen, it is called as ethyl. So the pronunciation C. Ethane comes, if you are removing the one hydrogen, it is called as ethyl. On the ethyl group, you are using of the one hydroxy compound. So it is called as ethyl alcohol. This particular hydroxy compound is called as a secondary suffix. It is nothing but the functional group. On the basis of the functional group, you are classified in the organic compound. See the how the organic compounds are classified on the basis of functional group. So it is also very important. Organic compounds. Classified on the basis of functional group. Functional group. This is important here. So, friends, you are using of the functional groups, very important. That's why you are using of the different. Okay, the functional group, how the consisting of that one, I will explain one by one easily. So you will write, <coughs> first I am taking out the functional groups. Already familiar functional group, I will take first. First I am taking the functional group. Okay, so the class of the compound, what is the functional group? What is the name of the class? That is a class of compound. I am writing the class of compound. And the next you can take the, you are explaining with the example also. Okay, so this I am taking off. Please take it easy. It is a 10 marks question for your examination point of view. This I am writing the first simple compound. See, if it is a carbon is having of the all single covalent bond, it is called as you know that already this class is nothing but all. Okay, suppose I am taking the example here. The bond is filled with the hydrogen. It is nothing but it is called as a methane. Okay. This is an example of that we have to remember that one. This is a methane. Suppose I am taking off the double bond is there. See, if you are remember, this is a you have to keep the bonds all. On each carbon atom, four covalent bonds are must be present. It is called as a all E. Double bond is there. So I am writing the formula that is. So it is called as IUPAC name is ethene. Just now I told you it is, it is called as ethylene. Ethylene is the common name. So it is nothing but the common name. I'm using of the common name. Okay. The common name is ethylene. So similar manner, I'm using of the triple bond. This is called as an alk I. So I'm taking of the example is this is nothing but. It I okay, very simple this one, but the common name is acetylene. Acetylene. Don't think about this one, sir. Here, E and E, E and E. Don't like that. It is a E and E. Common is ethene, ethyne. That is the main important the functional group. We are already derived that. Okay. On the basis of that one, now I am taking up the some more other compound. Yesterday, you are this is the Ambassador getting sorry, the trip pen is not properly coming. Also, now I'm taking the different type of that one, which are very important, which is used in the organic compound. Mainly, I'm taking our this one. Hello, excuse me, sir. H O. What happened? Sir, do we have chemistry as subject in BCom also? Sorry? Do we have chemistry subject in BCom? Oh, it is possible, Amma. Yeah, we, we belong totally to BCom. BCom is totally commerce. You don't yeah, have the yeah. science. 
we belong to bcom so that's why we logged into chemistry class that's why we need to clarify so no need amma no need amma huh? okay thank you so much sir oh. by the way you are explaining very well sir coming to the this one the functional group this is a cho it is called as the class of the compound name is called as aldehyde friends you are using of this aldehyde i am using of this aldehyde total word and taking a smaller that is al all shall i add we i will explain with the example so if a compound consisting of the a substance that means a one substance present on this particular bond whatever the alkyl group is there CHO is there. That is all the eight. Shall I write that one? All the eight. First of all, I'm taking of the CH three is the one. Uh, that one. It is called as. Can you say the name of this compound? What is the root word? Two compounds. Two are there. Two compounds. Tell me. Acetal. What Methyl. Two are there. Methyl. If the two means methyl. Two carbon atoms are present. Means what? If the two carbon atoms are present, it turns all the eight simply. So we are using of it turns all the eight. Or this particularly commonly called as. I am writing the first IUPAC name. It is it turns all. Tell this is the root word. This is the primary suffix. Sama primary suffix means it is a saturated or unsaturated. Next is what? What is the class of the compound? All the eight. I am writing the all the eight. It's an all the eight. Okay. Why I am writing like that? It means the root word. It is a saturated single bond is there. An is there. All the eight is the class of the compound. That is the functional group. The name is all the eight. It's an all the eight. But generally called as it is called as a it's an all also. So it's a n a l. It is also pronouncing. Don't understand that means don't confuse. Why is I am writing the so many number of types of names? It's an all the eight also same. It's an all also. But generally the common name is it is acetal D eight. Is the common name is acetal D eight. Just I want to try to in the bracket acetal D eight. So don't confuse whatever the names are I wrote on the blackboard because of the commonly you are using this is the acetal D eight. Generally for a specific case. What are the IUPAC name is? We have to write that ethanol D or ethanol. Why? Because all D and D is considered called as AL. Take that. That is the one important one. So ethanol D and it is nothing but ethanol. Can part commonly called as a acetal. Now coming to the one more group you are having of the very important one. These are we are getting of the all D and after the all D and ketone will be there. So the keto group. This we are, you are having of the keto means. It is consisting of a double bond is present. The double bond is present on the I will write on the top of the carbon atom. Excuse me, sir. Now what happened, ma? Sir, for acid aldehyde, there will be no double bond. Oh. If it is a double bond, oh, you can write as like this. This is already is called as aldehyde. Here you are having of this one. It is called as a ketone. Okay, so don't confuse okay. this one. This is actual structure of all the eight. I don't want to write here now. Right, ma? Now this is called as the functional group. That means class class is called as ketone. Now here the bond will be attached by the alkyl group. Alkyl groups are commonly taking of the methyl group Th3. only. You are taking of the methyl group. Okay, now tell me, what is the IUPAC name? What is the common name? The IUPAC name. It is a ketone. It's a bond. This is a this is a dimethyl ketone. Dimethyl ketone, or you can call it this is a dimethyl. Two are there. Dimethyl ketone. Okay, it is also you are having of that one. This particularly compound which are present in this particular dimethyl ketone is also called as commonly called as acetone. 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 You are using in the laboratory as a reagent. It is vaporization state. That means alcoholic nature only. That is called as acetone. Okay. This is a one type. Next, you will take one more important is that is the 
very very important one is the disease if c o o h is present carboxylic acid carboxylic acid so the car functional group of the name of the class is that carboxylic acid this carboxylic acid is also called as oic acid so we are using of this one is the nothing but oic so i am using in the particular sometimes i can also call as oic sometimes i also call it al like that here also oic this is called as own depending on the formulas writing of own also ketone is own the glass words you are taking here the starting words you are taking al here oic acid now tell me the i will take one more compound that is a r this is i taken as this r r r i am taking the methyl groups only so i don't i am not writing the any r here specifically but here commonly i am taking on the r is nothing but the methyl group so now tell me i don't want the common name here you know that one common name is you know but what is the iupac name methyl acetate sare ma methyl acetate sir ethyl ethyl how can you say acetate word is not clear it is carboxylic it's common name is acetic acid. i don't want the common name amma yaar you are familiar with that one why because it is in eighth or ninth class but what i want the iupac name what iupac name tells first take the root word how many number of carbon atoms are there three is there two carbon atoms are there okay to me it's ethanoic acid ethanoic it a n is there okay it a n is there oic acid is there this is iupac name so next topic is my that only naman kesar only that's what i am here only i am clarifying some of the doubts why because you are taking up like the consideration of this is ethanoic acid it a n and oic acid ethanoic acid ethano ethanoic acid okay the common name is you was already told that acetic acid this is a common name why because so many times the examination asking of this formula what is the iupac name please remember don't write acetic acid is also given in that this is a not a iupac name it is a common name uh, ethanoic acid is the iupac name okay now coming to the next members you are having of the these are the very important aldehyde ketone and acid next we are putting the ethers i am writing of ether ether means ro or can write actually but for your understanding purpose i am writing of clear total structure just i write as this in the examination may ask like this only r means methyl group this r also maybe ethyl or methyl whatever you want so that's why i am using of r or dash that is also different okay so both are there that means this is the methyl group this methyl group in between the oxygen is there this name is called as ethers it is called as a ether now tell me the only one is there what is that dimethyl ether dimethyl ether that's dimethyl right. dimethyl ether is this is the functional group so dimethyl why di two times is there that's why di if three times means tri four times means tetra like that dimethyl ethyl ethyl you are getting a huh? what the my open the points are getting up if it is you are having got the confidence on the functional group you can easily write the any organic compound name. so this is a r o r dash r r o r same also same you are writing methyl suppose i am writing this is a ethyl group yeah c2x5 there and c3 tell me now the name here dimethyl ether is there one methyl ethyl ether ethyl ethyl ether also so i don't want to confuse here So, I will use the remaining other compounds. This year, I am only using of the classifications only. Next one more, very important is C O O R. This is called as esters. Esters. 
Yes, sir. So in the second sem, it is there. Up to first sem, you are having up the sem. Second sem, there is a ester, COOR. This is also, I can write in your examination point of the COOR like that. Okay, now like that, here I'm using of the C instead of COOR. Okay, that's sim simply uh, using of ROOR. Like that, we are using of the that particular words which are coming in between the commonly we are getting of this one C now examples are taken as dimethyl ester this is called like that dimethyl ester okay this is for the commonly we are getting I am using of this is a special block compared to this one okay Aldehyde, ketone, acid, ether, ester. These are important. Next, coming to the remaining other. These are the general. I'm using of your and examination to ask means just write this all the compound. That, that nothing but within five minutes you can finish the this answer. Then. Is there enough? Already three, four, five, six, seven, eight is over. Now I'm taking off. If the functional group NO2 is there, it is called as a nitro. It is called as nitro. nitro. So I can write this bond with it. Commonly, I take in a methyl. So here, what's the name? Methyl nitrate, commonly. But in this specifically, you are taking up nitro-methyl. Nitro 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 okay. Methyl nitrate also correct. Methyl nitrate also correct. But you are saying these are suffix prefix is there nitro methyl. Now I mean, I'm taking off okay. amine. NH2 is called as amine. So I'm taking the same formula. Tell me. Methyl amine. Amine. methyl amine. Okay. So you are using of NO2 and H2. One more is there. CO and H2. This is called as amide. Where you got this amide? Amide. In any compound? Tell me the girl. Any example? Amide. My. First organic compound synthesis in the laboratory is what? Acetamide. First organic compound is synthesized by the whole are in. Methyl. Name is? Methyl. Which, Methyl. Which compound Methyl. is prepared in the laboratory first? Methane. Urea. Not methane. Very first class yesterday only I told that now. Previously, uh -huh. the Virgilius concept, what is given? According to the living yeah. organism, whatever the compounds are obtained is called as organic compound. But after the synthesizing of urea, Urea is the first compound that is an organic compound which is synthesized in the laboratory by the Holer in 1828. Amide is urea. What is the name formula? NH2CO NH2. CO is there. Remaining one more amine group is there. That is urea. Here I am using up another compound that is CH3CO NH2. What is that compound name? Acetamide. Acetamide is a common name. I don't want the other common names. Methylamide. 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 Cyan is there. It is a cyanide. Because cyanide. I'm writing the same form of form. That means I'm taking the bond. If you observe, I'm only using of methyl group, not other groups. You can take anyone, but I'm generally for the understanding purpose, I'm using the common that is the methyl group. Methyl cyanide. This is called as a methyl cyanide. Okay, it is a very poisonous one. Methyl cyanide. I'm taking only one last left. That is, I can take that in that case.
Next is just I'm taking off reverse order. CN instead of CN, I'm taking the NC. This is called as isocyanide. 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 Now I'm taking off the bond is with the methyl group. Methyl isocyanide. Have you heard this name anywhere? Methyl isocyanide. Methyl isocyanide. Yes. Name. I can also use the abbreviation also. MIC, MIC. MIC Bolke. In our India, in the 1986, the Bhopal tragedy. Bhopal yes, tragedy sir. at midnight Bhopal of tragedy. December 26. In the Bhopal tragedy, methyl isocyanide, that is the methyl isocyanide tanks are blasted. It is leaked in the Bhopal city. Almost all by the morning itself. That means in the midnight, it is occurs. By the morning, 20,000 people are died because of methyl isocyanide. Still also there are more, so many number of patients that is suffering with that one methyl isocyanide. That is a mic gas. This is a dangerous gas. That is a isocyanide. You are using of NC. CH3, that is methyl isocyanide, is called as also mixed Okay, this is about the classification on the basis of the functional group. Okay, so you got the whatever that one you are using, using of that one, particularly these are the very important function group I wrote on the blackboard. So almost all too well, I given that in that you can write any 10 compulsory in the examination. So you can already getting off this compound's name, then only easily write the Organic compounds, IUPAC names, on the basis of the primary suffix and secondary suffix, and also sometimes fix also also present the sir sir Amma. sir ah. uh, nitromethane methylamine lo dot on so, nitromethane nitromethane this is the nitromethane this is the methyl amma methyl cyanide CN 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 is cyanide isocyanide methyl isocyanide here, methyl amine. Here, we are getting up that out. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. So, this nitro, methyl nitrate also you can write. You can also write methyl nitrate. No problem. But the nitro group is considered as prefix, not the suffix. In the organic compounds, given organic compound. At the time of IUPAC nomenclature, I will explain that. Okay, so generally you are calling as nitro, nitro groups comes under the first initial that is our surname like that. We are using of the nitro methane, not my methyl nitrate. It is also correct, methyl nitrate is also correct. But the okay. writing of the IUPAC nomenclature, they can preferred as nitro first, then methane is a second. That is a case. Thank you. Now, very, very important next class is the one, the question also in your exam is in front of you. Now you don't know the carbon. We are studying about the organic chemistry means carbon is the electron configuration means x1, y1, z0. So single power, single bonds that means only off field electrons are only two are there. According to the BBT theory, it can form two bonds. But in the organic compounds, already we say that organic compounds, carbon atom can form in the tetravalence, four covalent bonds. Okay? That's why in the excited state, the carbon atom in the excited state, the S orbital are jumped into the P orbital. So you are getting off the four single bonds. That's why the carbon atom pulling off four single covalent bonds. This four single covalent bonds, that means we are using the methane structure. The four covalent bonds, that means I'm writing off hydrogen such so methane clearly I'm not. The bond length of this one, one point. 
This bond length also same. This bond length also same. This bond length also point zero nine angstroms only. So why you are saying all bonds are equivalent, na? So the bond length must be one point zero nine. But if you see the electronic configuration, in this electronic configuration, the bonds are formed from one electron belonging to the orbital. Three electrons are belongs to the p orbitals. The electron belongs to s orbital. S orbital shape is the shape, and p orbital shape is the dumbbell shape. And this, but after the mixing of this one, we are getting the methane molecule that is having of the four single covalent bonds. All the bond lengths are one point zero nine angstroms, and making of the bond angle. Any hydrogen to hydrogen, the bond angle is one not nine degrees twenty eight minutes is showing. If you take the this one or this one or this one, whatever it is, the showing of the one not nine degrees twenty eight minutes only, so it is possible. So this is again the confusion because the electrons are undergoing in the bond formation. One belongs to the s orbital, three are belongs to the p orbital. The shape is the one s orbital is a spherical one. P orbital is a dumbbell shaped one, but getting of the bond lengths are all are identical, 1.09 angstroms, and also making the bond angle is 1.09 degrees 28 minutes. They are arranged all the four hydrogen atoms in tetrahedral bond angle. How it is possible means the scientists are believing that some is going on. That concept is called as hybridization. That means of the getting of the same equivalent covalent bonds. That's why why it is getting means the formation of the sum. If the concept is there, that is called as a hybridization. Nothing but a today. Mute your devices, students. Mute your devices. Don't talk in between the classes. Talk to do the do the class. Somebody is not listening my voice. Oh, it's all right. Hey, mute the devices. Samal Rajma, we are going to talk about it. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Then class start. Ah, in that the family members also. Is not a good thing, Amma. So you are using of the online classes means please aware of that one. Why? Because so many number of students are attending the class. They are disturbing that one. Almost all ninety to eighty students are there now. Okay. So hybridization concept is introduced because of the equal bond lengths are present and making of the bond angle is one not nine degrees twenty eight minutes. That's why the hybridization. What do you mean by hybridization? Means just now I just give the one example for today in the morning you ate. For the coming to the classes, some tiffin. That means maybe dosha. And that dosha you are using of the chutney. How the chutney is made? Mixing of pure orbital. The chutney is made up of with the palli and cobra, like that. So many other ingredients. The palli and cobra, you are what you do? You are mixing in the mixer. After the mixing of that one, you are getting of the chutney. After the getting of the chutney, can you separate the palli and the cobra? You can't. So it is a formation. It is nothing but the hybridization. Nothing but you know, the usual purpose also. We are taking up the rose plant, common rose plant. That means and the hybrid rose plant. How it is a differ is there. The bud also differ. So that is only the concept of the hybridization concept. It is introduced by the hybridization is in inorganic chemistry. That is by Cosell. This hybridization concept. Here also you are using the hybridization concept of the. That is nothing but mixing of pure orbitals of same energy of same atom. See how many number of words I am using. These are the very important. Mixing of pure yeah. orbitals of same energy, same atom to form same number of how many number you are mixing? Same number of formed new orbital. That means same number of new. Orbitals are formed is called as hybridization. Again, I am repeating the one more time the definition: mixing of pure orbitals of same atom of similar energies 
to form same number of nu orbital nu orbital is called as this phenomenon or this process is called as hybridization so in this particularly in our organic chemistry the hybridizations are you are having of sp3 hybridization sp2 hybridization and sp hybridization so many are there you are having a number of hybridizations are there dsp2 dsp3 d2 sp2 d2 sp3 d3 sp3 like that hybridizations are there in the latter we will discussing that one. but hybridization is nothing but mixing of pure orbitals of same atom of similar energies same atom of similar energy to form same number of new orbitals is called as hybridization so in the hybridization the important is the excited state of the carbon atom the electronic configuration is 1s2 uh, 2s1 sir last sir that's already time dikari chuka 1 and 2pz1 here how many you are mixing one spherical shaped s orbital three dumbbell shaped p orbitals px py pz dumbbell shaped you are mixing so total how many mixing 1 plus 3 4 are you are mixing to form same number means four new orbital new orbital means how many yes p3 4 sp3 orbital that is nothing but sp3 hybridization sp3 hybridization is nothing but one spherical shaped s orbital three dumbbell shaped p orbital mixing each other of the same energy c energy level second 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 energy levels of same atom same atom carbon atom or understand the hybridization the meaning of the hybridization mixing of pure orbitals these are the pure orbitals of same atom of similar energies to form same number you are how many you are mixing that number form the new orbital is called as hybridization so examples are sp3 sp2 sp hybridization okay now you are seeing of sp2 sp3 hybridization i will show the sim simple models before the starting of that one i will then जस्ट मिक्सिंग ऑफ mixing up of pure orbitals of similar energies of similar energies of same at to form same number of new orbitals same number of new orbitals is called hybridization if you want you can also note down okay so friends here this sp3 hybridization means what is sp3 means already i told that in this i am taking the only carbon atom is a important is the king of our chemistry carbon is a king now in this i am taking off second energy levels what are there two s1 i'm taking off it is a spherical shaped one non directional spherical shaped two s orbital i'm taken and three dumbbell shaped p orbitals take the identical three dumbbell shaped p orbitals if i get sir video is not clear board is not clear sir For the only for the clarification only I am taking off the different colors here. This is P Z. This is P Y. Try to understand. Even though not clear, this one P X. Okay, ma. So if these are all all two S only, two P. All are belongs to the two P. They are mixing. That means in the mixture, me grinder me, kya 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 add kare? One S orbital spherical shape, three dumbbell shaped P orbital grinder me dal diya. So you are getting off. Meda 
pure orbital these are the pure orbitals of similar energies two two is similar is of same atom same atom to form same number how many are mixing one plus three so getting of same number you are getting of the four of the new orbitals now on the carbon atom These are the orbitals are formed. Is nothing but sp3. Each is called as this is the one sp3. It is another sp3. It is another sp3. Another sp3. And the making of the bond angle is the bond angle of this particular sp3 sp3 making of the arrangement like one hundred nine degrees twenty eight minutes. Twenty eight minutes. Okay. So. Definition of sp3. You can also easily one dumbbell shaped p orbital, three dumbbell shaped p orbital, mixing each other to form four. One plus three means four sp3 hybrid orbitals are present. These four sp3 hybrid orbitals and the carbon atom is arranged as one hundred nine degrees twenty eight minutes. That is called as a tetrahedral angle. It is called as tetrahedral shape. Shape of that one. Okay, so friends, here I'm using of this is the carbon atom. I'm showing of that this is the carbon atom. In this carbon atom, I'm taking of the undergoing of hybridization. They can forming of the bonds are formed. This is the sp3 hybrid orbital. This is the sp3 hybrid orbital. This is the sp3 hybrid orbital. See this one. If you showing off this one, this is a equal bond angle. The bond angle is the we are getting off bond angle one hundred nine degrees. This is arrangement. See how the arrangement will be the getting off. If you are observe this one, this is a tetrahedrally the arrangement is there. So the carbon atom is a black color carbon atom that can undergoing off one is belongs to the s orbital electron. Three electrons are belongs to the p orbital. We are getting off after the hybridization, after the mixing, after the grinding. चटनी बनाया ऐसा बनाया ऐसा sp3 हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटल दे आर अरेंज्ड लाइक दिस ओके नाउ दिस sp3 हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटल्स इन द एग्जांपल आई एम टेकिंग ऑफ द एग्जांपल आई एम टेकिंग अ मीथेन मॉलिक्यूल मीथेन मॉलिक्यूल व्हाट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मीथेन मॉलिक्यूल इट कैन सर्व CH4 आई एम टेकिंग विद द एग्जांपल व्हाई बिकॉज़ इन द एग्जामिनेशन देयर वाज फर्स्ट डिफाइन इट एंड द टेक द एग्जांपल इन द मीथेन मॉलिक्यूल कार्बन इज देयर One carbon is there. Four hydrogen atom. This carbon is undergo hybridization. So that carbon atom, I will write it off that one. The hybridized. This is a hybridized. This is a hybridized. This is a hybridized. Okay. Now I wrote as a hybrid bonds are wrote. These are the sp3, 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 sp3. On this sp3. Four hydrogens. Hydrogen means one s one. The electronic configuration means each hydrogen is spherical shape. Four spherical shaped hydrogens are there. Okay, this is one s one. Again, they are under the lateral orbit. Not mixing here. Not hybridization. They are already hybridization over. That means on this hydrogen, chhipni banaya. Yeh dosa. Ek kilana. Isko. Now we are getting out this particular hybridization. That means hybrid already with the hybridization. They are overlapping each other. The overlapping means this is a yours head. This is again the head. The head on head overlapping. If the head on head overlapping, the bond is formed as sigma bond. Or tail on tail. This is a tail tail. You are getting off. This overlapping is called as sigma. Either this. Not this one. That means on the linear overlapping. The linearly the overlapping takes place. Head on head overlapping or tail on tail overlapping. You are getting of the sigma bond is formed. Now in the case of the carbon, that is the methane molecule. Already carbon is undergoing a hybridization. They are getting of the four sp3 hybrid orbital. Those are arranged in the tetrahedral manner. They are combining with the four hydrogen atoms. So you see that the four hydrogen atoms and the carbon atom.
Okay. Now these are the nothing but we are adding us sp3, sp3, sp3. This is the technique. Now take the US dosha. That is the dosha. Nothing but I am taking off. Okay. Yes, sir. Ghalas to. Now I am taking off. Dosha karra. This is the overlapping, lateral overlapping, end on end overlapping. This is the sp3 hybrid orbital. This is the s orbital. How they are combining laterally? That means, sorry, side wise, we are getting off this particular end on end overlapping. That end on end overlapping, they are forming off a bond that is a sigma bond. We are a bond, it is a sigma bond. We are a bond, it is a sigma bond. We are a bond, this is a sigma bond. But already we know that this is a pure hydrogen, pure orbital, pure orbital. This is a pure orbital. Okay. The pure orbitals are mixing it as well. So already we are having of sp3 abidation. And this, the spherical shaped four hydrogen bonds, the spherical shape, this is the hydrogen. Now you are seeing of this is the hydrogen. Hydrogen spherical shaped one. Another spherical shaped one. Another spherical shaped one. Another spherical shaped one. Okay, now this is a methane molecule. If you see that one, the methane molecule, how it is, I am rotating, same angle is there. The bond length, whatever the bond length between the hydrogen to sp3 hybrid orbital, this is the sp3, 1.09 angstroms only. So, when you are getting out this methane molecule, this I am writing out the structure, please. This is hydrogen. This is hydrogen, here also hydrogen, here also hydrogen. The bond length, this is the bond length is 1.09 angstroms. Why? Because the bond length is measured in the angstroms only. The bond angle is angle. Is 109 degrees, 28 meters. If you are seeing how this one stretches, you are easily clarified with the help of this one. Okay, we can also explain not only the methane, ethane molecule also. Ethane means it is nothing but we are having of the C2S6. Each carbon for sp3 hybrid orbital and six hydrogens are there. And this means they are having of like this bond. Here hydrogen, here hydrogen, here hydrogen. So the making of the bond angle again, this is the 109 degrees. 28 minutes and the bond length, this is a 1.09 angstroms and carbon carbon bond length is 1.54 angstroms. The carbon carbon, the distance is how much means there is a carbon, one more carbon, I will take that one here. You can easily understand this one. So one more carbon I am attached. This is already one methyl group, CH3. Here, one more CS3. I can make out that one more CS3. I'm fixing off this one. One more is fixing. One more is fixing here. See, this is a structure. It is nothing but your ethane molecule. If you see that one like that or this one, this is the ethane molecule. This is the example of, best example of your sp3 hybridization. The sp3 hybridization is the model, this one. This is the bond length between the carbon and carbon is 1.54 angstrom. This is the bond length is 1.5. That means carbon carbon distance between the distance is 1.54. This distance carbon to hydrogen 1.09 angstrom. The bond angle the bond angle is 109 degrees 28 minutes. Why? Because these are the tetrahedral nature. This is a tetrahedral structure. Is there? The tetrahedral structure you can see observe this one. This is about the sp3 hybridization. The example of the molecules in the organic chemistry okay you can easily understand this concept by this is a sp3 derived. now coming to go to the second one that is sp2 sir one example is enough uh, for no, sp3 uh, for your understanding only i give given the second example okay sir I exam uh, in exam we will be right only one example huh? That's what I'm saying, Amma. We are repeating again and again. 
no one is writing properly means one is enough one is enough one is enough example is enough one i want okay now coming to the writing of sp2 tell me the what do you mean by the sp2 hybridization give the definition what is the sp2 hybridization that means you are not understand the previous one Mixing of one S and two covalent two carbon atom of same energies. Mixing of one S orbital covalent two two P orbitals. That means two P orbitals are here. I am taking of P X and P Y. That's all. Mixing of one S orbital P X and P Y two P orbitals. That means S orbital is you can write the shape. Mixing of Spherical shaped s orbital, two dumbbell shaped p orbital to form. How many you can get? One plus two how many? Three, 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 three. Two. two orbitals. Two orbital. That is the hybridized orbital. Now I can write. This is a new orbitals. Please, all are identical. Please remember, if my shapes are different, but you remember, guys, these are all are identical lobes only. Some log as you are doing there, chota hai, bada hai, pura ekhi rehna, success. Okay, these are form of sp2. This is the sp2 hybridization. This is the sp2 hybridization. It is also sp2, and the making of the bond angle is 120 degrees. This is a triangular shape. Triangular is they are coming on the carbon atom. See previously the arrangement four sp3 hybrid orbitals are arranged as a tetrahedral manner. But here only three is there. There are three are arranged on the carbon atom as a trigonal planar or triangular. Making of the bond angle is 120 degrees. Now take the example of ethylene molecule. Ethylene means what? Ethene. That is the structure is C two H two double bond C two H two. This is the ethylene molecule. Ethene is a IUPAC name. Common name is ethylene. Okay. Now see, on each carbon atom there is a three sp two hydrogen cells are there, and the two hydrogens are bonding. How they are bonding takes place? We'll see that one. First, you take the one carbon, one carbon. And the three hydrocarbons, that is the carbons. Now see how I am writing of one sp2 hybrid orbital. This is one sp2 hybrid orbital. Another sp2. So this is the sp2. It is the sp2. It is also a sp2. One more carbon is there. So that the carbon also having of three sp2 hybrid orbital. Much one sp2, one another sp2. They are overlapping each other. End on end overlapping takes place. End on end overlapping takes place means what type of bond is formed? Sigma bond. A bond. Over. Next two hybrid orbitals are there on this carbon atom. These two sp2 orbitals, sp2 hybrid orbital. But on each carbon, two hydrogens are there. Hydrogen means spherical shaped. S one one S one that will be only overlapping, not hybridized. Your pure orbital is overlapping. This is a hydrogen. Now this is a hydrogen overlapping. Here the hydrogen is overlapping. Here the hydrogen is overlapping. Due to all the overlapping, what happened? There is a bond is formed. What type Sigma of bond? Sigma bond forms. Sigma bond. Why bond? Sigma bond. Here the bond is formed. Sigma bond. Here the bond is formed, sigma bond. How many sigma bonds formed in the ethylene molecule? Five. Five sigma bonds. This is the multiple choice question. In the methane, how many sigma bonds are there? In the methane molecule, how many sigma? Four. 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 How many five bonds in the methane? Any five bonds are present? Zero. In the Zero. Zero. Please remember, in the ethane molecule, how many sigma? Five. Ah. Five. Ethane. Five. Four, 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 four,
carbon and carbon only single sp3 sp3 their combining means compulsory formation of sigma bond means total seven sigma bonds present in the ethane molecule c2s6 molecule here you are having a 1 2 3 4 5 sigma bonds are there right am if any second few orbitals are present on the each carbon atom see i am mixing in the grinder how many p orbitals are taken only two but there is a one more pz orbital is present that is a pure orbital still present on the each carbon atom that pz orbital and then this is a pz orbital this is a pure orbital amma this is the pure orbital pz here also pure orbital is present okay this is pz orbital is present they are how they are Combining means they are laterally overlapping. This is a sidewise. The yes, sidewise, sidewise overlapping. overlapping. This is the one pz orbital on the carbon atom. This is another one pz orbital of the. This is lateral overlapping. That lateral overlapping and extending lines. This is the one. This is the upper portion. This is the lower portion. Don't say this is the two bond. This is the lower portion of that one. Sigma so bond. You are the pi bond is present pi bond sorry lateral overlapping takes place is called as a pi bond so how many pi bonds are there one pi and this is not a line it is a lower part don't draw this one don't confuse only upper part that means if you are using of like the structure you are getting of the pi bond is present in the ethylene molecule phi sigma bonds one pi bond is present this is called as sp2 hybridization so sp2 hybridization is nothing but We are getting of the one spherical shaped s orbital, two dumbbell shaped p orbital, formation of three sp2 hybrid orbital, making of the triangular shape and the bond angle is 120 degrees. So example is ethylene molecule. In the ethylene molecule, two carbon atoms are there, four hydrogen atoms are there. Two carbon atoms in the one sp2, one sp2, making of the hybridization. That means in the five sigma bonds, one sigma bonds belongs to sp2, sp2. Four sigma bonds are belongs to sp2. What s that is belongs to hydrogen. Please remember this is the important one. Five sigma bonds are not that one. One and sigma bond belongs to hybrid bonds between the bond is present. This is the bond. So you are writing this structure is okay. This is a hydrogen. This is a hydrogen. All sigma bond I wrote. Now one more bond. That is a pi bond. I'm writing R like this. Okay, this is a pi bond. Now you are getting a. This is a ethylene molecule structure. I'm representing. This is sigma, 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 sigma. This is a pi bond. I'm using a different color. That is a sigma bond. Okay. This is about the our sp2 hybridization. now coming to the my duty is only simple here sp hybridization what okay now i am taking sp hybridization means what is the definition one 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 कार्बन आइटम दिसरिकल शेपिटल वन डबल शेपिटल मिक्सिंग फॉर्मेशन ऑफ Two sp hybrid orbitals and the carbon atom arranged as a linear structure. It is a linear structure. Before is a triangular structure, and the making of the bond angle is one eighty degrees. One eighty degrees. Okay, it's called sp hybridization. Sp hybridization. You can define it. One spherical shape uh, s orbital, one double sp s orbital to get off. Two sp hybrid orbitals arranged as a linear structure. Which one of the bond angle is two hundred degrees? For example, it is sp molecule. Sp molecule is what is that? Ch bond Ch. 
This is an example. example. Now see, carbon atom. This carbon atom is having of one sp. Another sp. This is a sp. This is a sp. One more carbon is there. This is a one sp. Another sp. SP, SP over the hybridization. What type of bond? Sigma bond. And in each carbon atom, hydrogen is present. This is a hybridization. That means again the bond is present. H. Again here, the overlapping sigma bond, hydrogen bond. Right? Here, and each carbon atom is only undergoing the SP. Only undergoing hybridization. Oh, you are in the class. Oh, you are new to your devices now. What is this Shall I stop the lesson? Otherwise, sir, sir, you mute them all. Not given me. That's why my, my problem is the option is not given to me. If like that means I can mute all of you. The post is not given to me. From that one, the post is not given. Okay, take that one. Two unhydrogenized P orbitals. That means this P one is pure orbital, and then P Z also pure one each carbon atom. Now I'm taking off P one. I'm using the P Y M different color. This is a pure orbital, not hybridized one. Again, I'm taking off. One more. This is pure orbital. Pizza. Same manner. Another carbon atom also taken off. Pure orbital. Py means second energy. Two py. You can say. Another. Which are present on each carbon. They are lateral overlapping space. space. That is a lateral P Y P Y lateral overlapping. P Z P Z lateral overlapping takes place. Okay. P Y P Y. That is a present in that. Is a five bond. Another P Z P Z. So total two pi bond. How many sigma? How many to pi bonds are present in this molecule? Tell me. Three sigma plus two pi bond. Three sigma plus two sp sp. Another sigma plus two sp sp. This is about the making of the bond. This one and also C. Why the last one? These are the the single bond length is. 1.20 angstroms and the pi bond, pi bond is present and this bond angle particularly here also the bond with the hydrogen whatever they say that the carbon is having of 1.09 angstroms it is little bit changes to 1.07 angstroms in the acetylene molecule particularly the bond angle that means the bond length within the triple bond length is 1.20 single bond length is 1.54 angstroms. Double <laughs> bond length is 1.34 angstroms. We can easily understand 1.54, 1.34. Triple bond length is 1.2 angstroms, 1.20, you can say. Okay, these are the bond lengths of the single, double, triple bond lengths. And also making of the bond angle like this, we are getting of the a linear structure. This is a linear one. This is about the second topic that is also 10 marks question. Whatever I discussed today is a very, very important topic. The ablation. Next, we are going to the nomenclature. Excuse me. Uh, sir, we can't understand, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a lot of coming, sir. Huh? All my. <laughs> Sir, can I disturb you? Sir, can I disturb you? Sir, can I disturb you?
ఏం చేయాలి నేను చూడండి Okay, fine. It is muted to one, everyone. That is given as now. Okay. Now you won't get the any voice now today. But I'll read time up. Even though hybridization is a concept. What you understand means hybridization mixing is the same important. Why? Because why it is happened means carbon is showing off the tetravalence nature. Due to of the tetravalence nature, one belongs to the electron belongs to S orbital. Three are belongs to the P orbital. but the shape are two orbitals are different is there s orbital shape is the spherical one p orbital shape is dumbbell one but in the methane molecule if you observe experimentally observed as in the laboratory all are equal bond lengths are present why it is happened so they think the scientists now they made one concept that is called as hybridization hybridization concept why it is it because of equal bond lengths are showing by the methane molecule 1.09 angstroms are showing by the methane molecule from the carbon to hydrogen bond here that's why the uh, hybridization concept is introduced by the cosel so in that sp3 hybridization sp2 sp according to ever selbus point of view this sp3 means one spherical shaped s orbital three dumbbell shaped p orbital mixing each other formation of four sp3 hybrid orbital which are arranged as a tetrahedral model making of the bond angle is 109 degrees 28 minutes so the examples are methane and ethane molecule so because of the methane molecule when you are the sp3 hybrid orbital again overlapping end on end overlapping with the hydrogen atom there is a sigma bond is present like that four sigma bonds are present in the methane molecule and the seven sigma bonds are present in the ethane molecule why because six hydrogen atoms are there six sigma bonds belongs to six hydrogen atoms one sigma bond belongs to between the carbon and carbon sp3 hybrid sp3 a bond is there that is called as sigma bond that is about the sp3 coming to the sp2 one spherical shaped s orbital two dumbbell shape here only i am utilizing two one still one pz orbital is vacant is that is present on each carbon atom there is present okay only i am mixing in the hybridization concept one spherical shape two dumbbell shaped as mixing getting of three sp2 hybrid orbitals these three sp2 hybrid orbitals are arranged in the trigonal planar or triangular shape okay so triangular shape is present so it is present is making of the bond angle is 1 20 degrees of that one so the example is we are having of the ethylene molecule in that ethylene molecule you are having of the four hydrogen bonds are there the four hydrogen bonds are overlapping on each carbon atom so they think of four sigma bonds one sp2 one sp2 there is overlapping on overlapping of linear overlapping so sigma bond five sigma bonds are present but already in the hybridization one vacant is there that is not a hybridization take place the pure pz orbital is lateral overlapping takes place getting of the five bond in the ethylene molecule coming to the sp hybridization sp means one spherical shaped s orbital one dumbbell shaped p orbital mixing each other formation of two sp orbitals they are arranged in the linear structure making of the bond angle is 180 degrees for that example is acetyl molecule the acetyl molecule is having of the ch triple bond ch why it is getting of means triple bond means the ch is c carbon is 1 sp 1 sp that sp is only hydrogen overlapping one more sp is again one more carbon atom sp overlapping takes place that means carbon carbon between the sp sp overlapping takes place sigma bond is present one more sp hybridization on each carbon they are overlapping two hydrogen atom so you are getting of 
three two sigma bond means total three sigma bonds are present but on each carbon atom there is a vacant pure p orbitals are there pure p orbital p y p z are present and the two p orbitals are present on each carbon atom they are lateral overlapping takes place so that you are getting of the two pi bonds in the acetylene molecule so that two sigma three sigma bonds and two pi bonds are present this one that's enough for your examination point of view any doubts already time up anyone so that is about the so next somebody is posting of prasanna samadhuri whatever that even though the time is up the university people are cautious to me so already time up i can leave the class those so doubts if you are any doubts means okay already i muted amma okay any more if you are any doubts means already you are formed a group in that you force the group, uh, doubts next week i can clarify in the class or something if you are personal means i can also explain personally that's you want to write right take that better to take the screenshot some Okay. Right, right. I am leaving the class. So, if you are getting of any doubts, man, don't hesitate to ask the doubts, please. Why? What I say is, my interest is to understand the concept, not getting of the marks. I don't want the marks, but you are coming the marks only. I know that one. But my intention is, you are coming to the my class means you learn something about the chemistry. When you are going outside. i have the some knowledge regarding of the chemistry you can put as a color upper color like that so you can remember like that this is a chemistry nothing is there just only you have to introduce of the chemistry in the first sem there's a very fundamentals are there if you are fundamentals understanding means next sem easy second third fourth sem you can play that one chemistry okay right fine i'm leaving